I didn't really come into work every day knowing that I'm to be going through uh, whatever financial needs they have. Every club we have is different. It's really about finding out what's really the most important thing per client. With financial planning, everything is interconnected. So, a comprehensive plan means that you're taking care of income needs now, income needs in the intermediate term, and income needs long term. We'll do an asset cycle portfolio. We'll do a risk of life test. We'll do a life insurance audit or a life insurance review. And, and so when we build the deep relationship with our clients, then we can take a step back. And we can look at different options to help them specifically get to their goals. One of the things I feel our job is as advisors is to introduce strategies to clients that maybe they did not know that they were out there. But it's not like we had a job to come out and say, have you ever thought about this? And the planning is it's not always about income, but a lot of it is also about the industry. So the, the element of family is very important to us, and it's important to our clients. Hello, my name is Steve Jablonski, and I'm the host of the Science and Studio with Jeff Burke. We have a great topic today, especially with all the market volatility of late. It's a new and evil one. Before we get into that, Jeff, for the most part, welcome to the show. It was so great to be here. And uh, it's exciting today to talk about uh, annuity, annuity 101. Annuity is, is probably one of my favorite subjects. Uh, we, you know, we've done so much of it over the years with our clients. We've helped uh, protect uh, clients' assets with, uh, with our financial planning, uh, with, you know, a lot of annuity strategies as part of an overall financial plan. And I know uh, over the course of many shows that we have done, over the years, uh, you know, we've always woven in the, uh, you know, some of these annuity strategies and annuity uh, solutions. So it's good to take a whole, uh, a whole day just to dedicate to annuities. Before, before we dig into that, Steve, um, I want to just say that uh, it's great to be here on uh, the PCTV network. And the reason why we're here is not only are we shown on the TV, uh, we're, the, the show is also streamed on uh, the website, thepcpbnetwork.com. And we also put it on our website, which is informedfamily.com. And we've been doing this for a long time. We've been doing it for seven years. Like we're going on, this is actually our uh, eighth year, believe it or not. And, uh, of course, today, we're here in our, uh, our next studio, which is one of the questions of our office here in, uh, in Pakistan, on the corner of Korea, and then over in beautiful downtown Pakistan. And we get we get a lot of things in for family financial and we like to educate people. We're doing these videos. Uh, we do what type of we're doing is talking about a little bit later. Uh, we've been in the mix. So we've been in the quite exciting in the last year or so. Yeah, so we were in a PR campaign uh, late last year, and we really got, uh, you know, we really had a lot of exposure. We were in, you know, in the news, so to speak. Uh, we got published in the U.S. News and World Report, uh, the USA Today, um, Tipwater Magazine, Market Watch. So we went to a few of um, the on KYW, um, news radio, for the uh, podcast. Uh, so, yeah, we've been, you know, we've had a lot of, a lot of interesting uh, information that we've put out there. And, and by the way, um, I want to mention on the show today that uh, anybody who wants to get a copy of anything that uh, was published, uh, just contact our office and we'll we make sure we get that out to you. And for us to see that, we have to see that on our website. So, we can put the individuals to that. 
manageable and it is really the way they end up to do it is if you turn on the income benefit and you're getting a payment that gets you paid. You say no one can pull all that out of it. You still have and you still have what's left in the asset. And that's important for legacy planning because you're you know you've got new income fixtures and product of the community function. And then I've got a coach with the wealth of the so, how do you put that into the plan? How do you put that into the model? How does that guarantee it? For example, to me, it's one of the first things that we do is we want to provide the money to the income. So, if you're looking at a client who has been, you know, they came to us and they get there and they're early to make 50, they need to make income. Where would that fit in? 
most likely where we're looking for guarantees, you know, maybe we're looking for guarantees of, you know, for the potential guarantees, or maybe we're looking for guarantees of income, or maybe we're looking for guarantees of some type of uh, a debt benefit. But anyway, we have, we have the guarantees in there. So, the more we serve it, you know, we, we can't do that in fact in a vacuum. We have to look at all the other, the, the other pieces to the financial puzzle, whether it's, you know, the other income sources, whether it's, you know, maybe a pension or social security, or maybe we're looking at other assets. So maybe we do have a brokerage account where we're looking at some growth. But the, the annuity is typically where we're looking for uh, something that's going to provide guarantees. And then we take the time to put together strategies. We like to give access to the job description. Tell us a little bit about how that fits into that situation. Yeah, so we, we, have a, we have a system in place, um, asset cycle portfolio. Uh, and with the asset cycle portfolio, you're right, every asset has a, uh, a job description. So every asset has a very uh, specific job to do. Maybe one asset, their job is to provide for long term growth. Maybe another asset is more intermediate term growth. Maybe another asset's job is to provide for an emergency. The job description maybe of the annuity is to provide for guaranteed income. And then it may be guaranteed income that we turn on. So let's say, let's say, Steve, we're, we're meeting with a client who's Maybe in their late 50s or early 60s, and they, you know, they've been trying to retire in five years. So we put them in an annuity product where we're going to be in deferral for five years, and then after the five years, we're going to start providing guaranteed income. So there would be a, that would be a very specific job description, and that would, that would have a very specific uh, function. Inside that asset cycle portfolio. And uh, being that this is 2021, what do you tell us a little bit about what the company is? What we celebrate? Well, I mean, we have a lot to celebrate. Uh, in 2021, we have, uh, you know, we have our 20 year anniversary, uh, first and foremost. Uh, we formed our company in, back in 2001. And looking back, it's interesting to think that, hey, you know, we opened up our doors and we started our company right in the morning of a recession. And about eight months after we, we started our company, we had the, uh, the 9 11 terrorist attack. So we had a, you know, we had a very interesting first year uh, to say the least. So this year we're celebrating our, our, uh, our 20 year anniversary in the first season. We're now a full fledged partner of our company, and, and uh, we're celebrating that as well. So we've got, we've got, you know, we have a lot to be grateful for and a lot to be thankful for. And uh, we have our, you know, we have our clients that have worked with us all these years, and uh, you know, even through this pandemic of uh, 2020, you know, we're still we're still moving along, and the clients still depend on us. And, uh, you know, we, we feel, you know, we feel a tremendous need. Yeah. And, and the same for the local community. If we should talk, just talk a little bit about that with the food companies. I think that's important for, uh, for us as a corporate initiative to, to, you know, to get back. And one of the ways that we do that is we can support of our, uh, the local food that, uh, you know, the impacts in the as well as some of the other areas where we serve in the Philadelphia, uh, Collegeville, and Orange County. Uh, there's, you know, several of them that we support, but these food banks are really, uh, still an important need right now. There's a lot of people that, you know, are out of work or they're, you know, they're in, in need of these, uh, of these food pantries. So we, you know, we've done, uh, our bit to, you know, to support them. And, you know, our clients have a threat. You know, we have, when we have our clients appreciate the event, you know, we have a big table set up for food donations and clients have always come through in a big way. So, uh, we want to continue to do that uh, through various, you know, various ways. Uh, and, and this year, as a celebrating anniversary, we want to 